Good afternoon, I am Ma'am Joanna Tablet and today I will be discussing about structure of coordination. Structure of coordination are two or more syntactical equivalent units joining a structure which functions as a single unit. The example are Jane is a good teacher and her students really like her. Another example is, her assistant is very young, but a big learner. As you can see in the example, the highlighted words are and, and, but. Those are called coordinators. In the first example, we use and because the situation shows both positive. And can also be used if both shows negative statements. Coordinators appear between two elements that they join and often appear between the contracts. The examples of coordinators are AND, BUT, NOR, OR, FOR, RATHER THAN, as well as, TOGETHER WITH, AND ALONG WITH. Aside from coordinators, we also have correlatives. of the examples to show how to use correlatives. Not only he is intelligent, but also good nature. In the statement, it shows there that the person does not only have one good character, but two good characters. That is why we use correlative not only, but. Second example is both my cousin grandparents are coming over on Christmas. In the example, there are two things that are mentioned. The cousins and grandparents who are both coming over on Christmas. That's why both and and were used. As you may have noticed, I mentioned conscience earlier. or coordinates are two or more elements being linked through coordination. For example, Jane is a good teacher and her students really like her. We already know that Anne is a coordinator. That is why Jane is a good teacher is considered as conjunct as well as her students really like her. very young, but a big learner. In the second example, very young and a big learner are considered conjuncts. There is also a series in the structure of coordination. A series in the structure of coordination which has more than two components being linked. as a choice of wine, red wine, white wine, or beer. In example, the words rose, tulip, and daisy are considered as conscious. But in the second example, the words red wine, white wine, and beer are considered as conscious. Lastly, before I end my discussion, I would like to give again some examples of coordination. Reliable. Another is Levi is intelligent as well.
well as good nature. Fair example is, you have to stay put or live. And now an example is, he likes Paris and Italy. The last example of correlative are, not only can I see him, but also I can hear him. And both the president and the prime minister were there. That's it for today. I hope that you have learned something and thanks for listening. The next type of syntactic structure is the structure of complementation. But before we proceed to that, look at these following sentences. You can observe that the sentences have incomplete thought, but what are they lacking? They don't have complements. Complement is a word or a group of words added to the sentence to complete its meaning. Now look at the sentences if we add complements to them. They now have complete thought. Structure of complementation is a structure that consists of verbal elements and complements. Verbal elements can be in a form of simple verbs. Example, he hits his head. Hits is a simple verb. His head is the complement. Or it can be in a form of verb phrase like, we are learning grammar. Our learning is a verb phrase and grammar is the complement. Or it can be in an infinitive form like, a day to be thankful for. To be is an infinitive, thankful for is the complement. Or it can be a structure of modification like, I never in my life said that. Never in my life is the structure of modification, and said that is the complement. Or it can be a structure of coordination as well like, A tree hit and fell the ground. Hit and fell is the structure of coordination, and the ground is the complement. In order to identify and describe the different types of complements, we must first take note that the verbal elements may be divided into three main groups. First, linking verbs, then intransitive verbs, then transitive verbs. Linking verb is a structural link between a subject and a complement. They have a complement but no passive. Example, the dog seemed hungry. Seemed is a linking verb and hungry is a complement. Another example is, the girl looked happy. Looked is a linking verb and happy is a complement. Intransitive verbs have a complete predicate without complement. So they have neither complement nor passive. Example, the rain stopped or the basketball team arrived. With the intransitive verbs arrived and stopped, the thought of the sentence is already complete without needing any complement. And finally, transitive verbs. They always have complements. So they both have complements and passive form. Example, the man sold his car. Sold is a transitive verb. His car is a complement. In its passive form, the car was sold by him. Since intransitive verbs have no complement, we wouldn't be talking about it that much. So let's proceed to the types of complement. The first one is subjective complement. It is a type of complement appearing with linking verbs. Example, for noun, the woman is a teacher. Is is a linking verb. A teacher is a subjective complement. For adjective, the apple is ripe. Is is a linking verb. Ripe is a subjective complement, which is adjective. The next, the time is now. Is is a linking verb. Now is a subjective complement, which is also adverb. Then for verb, his wish is to graduate. Is is a linking verb to graduate. Is a subjective complement. Then prepositional phrase. The train was on time. 
was is a linking verb, on time is a subjective complement. The next type of complement is the direct object. It is a type of complement appearing with a transitive verb and is a single object. Example, for a noun, I found a friend. A friend is a direct object complement. It is a single object. And for a pronoun, I saw him. Saw is a transitive verb. Him is a direct object complement. For a verb, she likes walking. Likes is a transitive verb. Walking is a direct object. Also, they want to go. Want is a transitive verb. To go is a direct object, which is a complement in the sentence. The next type of complement is the indirect object. It is a type of complement appearing with a transitive verb and is two objects. So it refers to two objects attached to the sentence. Example, he gave his friend two books. Gave is a transitive verb. His friend and two books are two complements which is also two objects added to the sentence. For examples, for noun, he told his lecturer his name. Told is a transitive verb. His lecturer and his name are two complements, which is indirect object because they are two objects added to the sentence to complete the meaning. Another example for pronoun, she made the hungry trump a sandwich. Then for a structure of coordination, he gave his father and mother a present. Gave is a transitive verb. His father and mother is one complement and a present is another complement. The final type of complement is the objective complement. This refers to two objects that do not follow the indirect and direct pattern. As you can observe earlier with direct object and indirect object, direct object is a single object while indirect object is two objects. Objective complement describes the direct object. It is also the one who states what the direct object has become. It only exists if there is a direct object. For example, we elected his brother president. The direct object is his brother who receives the action of the verb elected and what his brother has become, president. So president is the objective complement because it states what the direct object has become. So his brother has become the president. Another example, we made him a member. Him is a direct object. A member is the objective complement because it tells what the direct object has become, so he becomes the member. Another example, Connie painted his house green. So painted is the verb, his house is the direct object. Green is the objective complement because it tells what color his house has been painted with. So green is uh, objective complement which is also adjective. Another example, they consider the job finished. The job is the direct object. Finished is the objective complement because it tells the state of the job so it is already finished. Another example, he left her in tears. Her is the direct object, in tears is the objective complement. Well, for structure of coordination, we painted his house white and blue. Painted is a verb, his house is a direct object. White and blue is the objective complement which tells us what color his house has been painted with. So it is also a structure of coordination. Concludes our discussion about the structure of coordination and the structure of complementation. And we hope that you have learned a lot from this video discussion. Thank you for watching.